Hi guys, welcome to my December daily catch up. So here it is, the final video for 2016. So I know it's a few days late, but it was such a hectic weekend. It's Sunday at the moment and I was hoping to get this up on Friday and then give you a flip through and then on Saturday have my video for the first done. Very, very fantastic, well laid plans. Didn't work, no. On Friday we had football. Um, my son's Christmas party, a light reveal, and then a friend of mine come over and we had some uh, Christmas cocktails, and yeah, that was our night gone, so that was a lot of fun, but didn't get any scrapbooking done, and then yesterday was a bit of a write-off, I can't even remember what I did yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Yes, oh, we put up our tree, and yeah, so lots of stuff happening, and I didn't get a chance to sit down until today, so... I have about three videos planned to go up today. So, yeah, very, very big day planned ahead. So, this is my December 24th and 25th um, video. So, I've put them together in one video because I really wanted to get this album finished and I really wanted to uh, get the video up. So, I'm just, I did have a double spread. The 24th and the 25th are both double spreads. And I've just started with, I've got my photos out now. And for my title card, I'm, I'm using a very big December 24 because I really, I love the red and I really wanted it to be big and bold. So I went with that. I still haven't found my favorite um, Christmas uh, word stickers, but then I remembered I have the Tim Holtz book, uh, the Occasions book. So there's some Christmassy ones in there. So this works well. I think I, I use a lot of these in here. Uh, this picture that I'm working on now is my favourite. It's our tree after Santa has been and everything's all laid out. And what does it say? All is calm and bright. Now, I put that there because um, it reminds me of the carol and, and the poem. So, you know, I think it's quite fitting for Christmas Eve. And then on the December 25th card, I wanted to do something to it, but it was really big and bold. So it just says Santa Claus is coming. Nothing too exciting there. And then this picture here is a picture of my two boys and my best friend's gorgeous little girl. They come up for Christmas. And this is them sprinkling um, the reindeer food onto the front lawn. And I've just written uh, magic reindeer food with a little love this that I'd cut from a card. Now I have so many Project Life cards, it is not funny. So I like to try and get as much use out of them as I can. So I will cut them up for particular elements that I like. I will... Um, cut pieces from them um to use together all sorts of weird stuff i just you get so many and i like i'm never going to use all the cards i have in my stash not in my entire lifetime so i'm trying to use them up as many as i can so if it involves cutting some of them up and cut because i like certain elements i'll do it because like i said i have more than i'll ever use in my lifetime so oh this is my favorite this is a picture now every year we read the night before Christmas. I know it off by heart. I don't need the book anymore. But we do reread the book. I think I have about three copies of it actually. Three different copies. And we sit down and we read it. Um, of course we read it on Christmas Eve. But we also read it a few times throughout the year. But yeah. So this is a picture of us um, reading it on the night before Christmas. So I'm just adding some bling now. I'm tossing up between sequins and my clear rhinestones. So whatever's in uh, closest arm reach, I tend to grab for. So I've got my little, um, my gold sequins. I, I'm not a fan of the big sequins. I find them just too big. So I like the smaller ones. These are my absolute favorite. I found these really, really tiny stars and they're just perfect for things like this. So all is calm and bright. How awesome is that? So yeah, they're, they're absolutely really tiny. And I don't even remember where I got them from. I think I might've got them from eBay, maybe. I think yes so yeah and they're really cute to add to um they're perfect for project life and december daily because they are so small so i really do enjoy the small ones the most so lots of journaling as you can see now my favorite way to journal we know is to cut strips of cardstock and then write on them and then stick them straight to my photos and as you can see that's what i've done in the majority of these photos because i really wanted to share the story like this one here, this is our Christmas Eve box. So Buddy, our elf, um, left this box for the boys under the Christmas tree. And in it there is new Christmas pyjamas, candy canes, Christmas movies, popcorn. And of course um, a cookie mix for us to make cookies for Santa. So he leaves that for us under the tree on Christmas Eve. 
And, yeah, because the boys, we have to wear Christmas pyjamas on Christmas Eve and we have to make cookies for Santa and we we put on a Christmas movie. I don't think we actually watch it, but we do tend to put it on. We have a big light display at the front of our house. So on Christmas Eve we get a lot of people and we do tend to spend a lot of the night out there with um, all our friends as well. So, But we do like to put a movie on now and then. Um, Cooper doesn't really like the crowd, so he likes to come in and watch the movie. And the absolute favourite Christmas movie is The Polar Express. So that is the end of the uh, December 25th portion of this video. I have kept them all together, but I put the pictures in so you could see what um, what they look like when they're done. So now this is the 25th. It's very hard to um, pick some photos for my December daily because I do take so many photos. But then I look at it as in I can go back to my project life and put some more photos in there. Because yes, I do still continue my project life. Um, and I do use Christmas photos in there even though I have the December daily. So this is just a, a few little pictures from that morning that I think is pretty cool. So my title card, I've gone and gotten a red doily. It took me forever to find my doilies because I'd actually had them separate. So I'd remember where they were and of course I forgot. And then just using these awesome gold alphas. Now these came in my December daily kit from last year, which is the year I was using, the kit I was using for this album. And it's an entire sheet of gold um, foiled numbers. Some are big, some are small. It's really fantastic. And I've used them a lot in this album. And yeah, so that's what I've used for my 25. Put some little gems on there because I've got to have my bling. And then I was thinking of doing some journaling on the card, but in the end I decided to go for a stamp, which is something I don't think I've done much in this album at all. But it's just something different. I, I like to include... I'm, I'm trying not to make the pages so repetitive. That's what I find is a struggle when I do so many in a, in a row. I worry that they'll be very repetitive and look just like the page before it. You know when you just feel like you've lost your mojo? I f I'm feeling like that at the moment, actually. I'm a little concerned when I start my December daily that I'm going to just pull from the same things and, um, yeah, they're all going to look the same. So that's why I'm, I'm, that's why I'm going to get my new supplies that I've bought, put them separate from the rest of my December daily supplies and use it as my own December daily kit. So hopefully fresh supplies, fresh eyes, I might be able to, you know, feel more in the December daily kind of mood and not just feel like I'm um, putting out more of the same layout. So I do try and stay away from that cookie cutter thing because it, it bugs me. It does. So that's why I'm trying to find different things in my stash to make different layouts. Like these little banners here. I found these and I've forgotten I had them. And they're just little um, banners of all sorts, pennant banners and all sorts of different ones. So I thought I'd use a couple. This December 25th I thought was perfect for this picture of Cooper in front of um, the pile of presents. In my defense, they're not all his, I swear. <laughs> they, all, they all get thrown together under the tree. I'm not terrible I swear I'm not you know I don't overdo it well I do a little bit but it's Christmas come on but yes yeah, so I thought this was good and this um little word stick that says it's Christmas day and then just blinging it up because we've got to have our bling so would you look at that we're just about done and it's a good thing too because my son has just started playing soccer against the roller door at the back and that makes a lot of noise so that's gonna be good so yeah adding my bling and then I'm going to add a few more stickers to my top photos I don't embellish all of them like that picture of Will with his proton pack yes he got a, a toy proton pack last year he was obsessed with Ghostbusters and then this picture on the side I'm going to put um, right that even Sam enjoyed his present yes Santa leaves a present for Sam the dog as well Everyone gets a present from Santa if we've been good, if they're on the nice list. So mum, dad, Sam and the boys. So lots of fun. So I had, I'm had i really happy to be finished this. I'm glad that I actually got it done and didn't get stuck um, halfway through or not get it complete because it would be really sad to have another year not done. So the only year I haven't finished is 2015 and I'm only like three pages short from that. So I will go back and do that. So next video I'm going to show you is a flip through of my 2016 album. So do stay tuned for that. I would love you to see. Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking around if you have for my December Daily 2016 catch up. See you soon. Bye for now.